Hi, I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at the 8th Annual Hamilton Film Festival at the Staircase Theatre in downtown Hamilton. I'm here with actor and filmmaker Robert Moorfield. How does it feel to have two films that you made in the festival and one that you starred in here at the Hamilton Film Festival? It's great. Um, and each of the two experimental films is a different method, neither of which has ever been seen before anywhere in terms of method and content. And then acting was something that I don't do a lot of acting. I'm currently assisting in directing a play outside of this entirely, so it's, which is also new to me because I haven't done a lot of, a lot of uh, theatrical directing. So I'm, and that happens to be absurdist theater, so it's, it's sort of a strange month. How did you come up with your experimental methods? A lot of that's highly technical, but there's also a lot of influence from people like uh, in the theater, such as Antonin Artaud, who wrote a lot of uh, critical theory on theater and so on, volumes and volumes of it. And I've worked a lot with symmetry and with um, ideas such as we talked about when we had our previous interview, which is when we were talking more about the symmetry, which was about the um, it, impossible bodies making improb improbable moves um, with undecipherable meanings, which is Artaud's definition of something that he wanted to do in theater but couldn't do in theater, which you can do in film. In the sense of, with all of the computer graphics that's being done now in um, in terms of media art and all the computer graphic software, you can do a lot of morphing and a lot of changing of things into each other and distortion. I try to stay away from that and I use no computer graphic software whatsoever to produce either of the two pieces that are in. And the one, binocular vision, which features model uh, Jackie Childs, who's fairly well known in the local area, a uh, fantastic model. We are doing um, a figure study shoot and we we're doing some motion work and we decided to experiment with the concept that I'd been working with of using optical elements that you don't normally see used in cameras, like uh, glass that is optical but it's not designed for cameras. Wow. So we did that. We, we created that out of that. I'll tell you that much, but the rest is a bit of a secret, be a spoiler. And what was the best part about playing Epsilon 5 in Epsilon 5? I think Epsilon 5 is too much me. Brian's scaring me. <laughs> it's, it's almost my life story. So. Um, ah. And where's the best place to find out more information on you and the films online? Very difficult at the moment because I don't really have an internet presence other than my Facebook page, which is changing. However, I am in the process right now of getting a very high-speed internet connection, which I haven't had for years. And there will be more work appearing very shortly under the name Morfeel. Thanks so much. Congratulations and have a Thank great you. festival. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at the Hamilton Film Festival at the Staircase Theatre in downtown Hamilton.